in, in, yeah. just, just to say that they're in a relationship. No, no. You see now, okay, people, I can tell you, I can do bad all by myself, okay? And I would rather be by myself. Because if you can learn to be on your own, yeah, you don't need no one to help you get into trouble. You don't need to be with someone to be miserable. You're better off on your own. And then, and, and I'll tell you one thing I have noticed, and it's true. When you're by yourself, obviously, if you're happier, that will attract good people to you. Listen, misery loves company, okay? And these ones, crazy mummy's boys or daddy's girls... You don't want to mess with that because they've they've got this very warped relationship with that parent, and I'm not saying you would want to come between it, but it's it, when you were a child, you did childish things. Now you are a grown up, you're supposed to put that to one side, and this lot can't do that. Okay. And sometimes <laughs> it's just they aren't able to because they uh, haven't been taught how. Uh, Oh dear, yeah, but oh god, then that means it's the parents' fault, and they're going to be locked onto them like that forever. And I'm not taking on no husband or no man wants to, no real man wants to take on a wife like that because that ain't normal. No, and and I have known people to get into relationships where the man knows that even before he marries her, okay. that the mother is way too much of even the young lady's life. There are oh. some some um some mommy's girls <laughs> yeah. out there. Yeah. You know, and I know of, 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 of that people that have had it to where the wives are over there eating dinner every yeah. once a week, which isn't a bad thing. It's not bad. but because no, maybe if you're checking on your mother, that's yeah. different. Every yeah. occasion, you got to spend it with the wife's family. Uh, oh. The wife actually sits in mom's lap which i think is kind of weird. Okay, no, no. This no. is a real this is real. I'm telling Uh-oh. you real. You know, Uh-oh. it's it's basically from what the person told me. Uh-oh. And um but yeah, it's like the mommy's <laughs> girl <laughs> is the mommy is always calling and the mommy's calling more than friends of the 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 wife. The okay. mommy is constantly calling and constantly you got to be over here for dinner and there is no excuse. It's, there's some mommy's girls out there too. Yeah, but that ain't normal. Listen, she, okay. She needs to just, that, you know, cut the ties that bind. Them apron strings have got to go. <laughs> you, that's not normal. Whoever it might be with, you got to, that's got to stop people. Now, if you start seeing that and, and the next article is a perfect way for you to know how to spot a mommy's boy or girl and what to do if you suspect your partner is one okay that's not good you need to just not be messing with that it's link 10 k rose i just can't be doing with that <laughs> i was like okay that's no no that's not even funny because people we are posting at ask a funny show or you can go to the ask a funny show facebook group page no no and more no we don't love that Okay, remember I said to you that I saw the way that guy was acting when he was around his mother? That, I, I, I stood there, and I just looked at him, and I was like, you know when you're mentally planning your escape? <laughs> oh, I was doing that, because I thought, you know what, you need to grow up, and I ain't able for you, this, this is going to stop tonight. <laughs> it, tonight's the night, it's, it's done. I was done. I just thought, I can't be doing with it and the one thing that made me laugh uh, link 11 carols which i thought was hilarious and people and we want to know if you agree with this because we want to know come on ladies especially has this ever happened to you or did you decide to take the high road <laughs> more ways than one because if you look at it and you think this is this is nah this ain't normal or you're thinking okay i'm not gonna let it get to me because <laughs> 13 <laughs> things you only know if you've dated a mummy's boy now i'm sorry when i saw that I, I I was laughing. You know, people, I do my research and I put the show together and <laughs> I have realized that when something amuses me to the point, I have to put it in the show because I want to share the joke with you guys out there so you can tell me what you think because I saw that and I just thought, oh my God, that is so true. That is just so on point. Oh, <laughs> well, okay, okay, Rose, we're going to do it. We're going to go through it. Because, as I said, this is only who feels it knows it, okay? So, unless you've been here, you ain't going to know, okay? Number one, <laughs> the Dawn Raids, also known as a mother, turning up unannounced whenever it suits her. Mm-mm-mm. That's not normal. That is bad. Okay. <laughs> she just, she's got her 
her key. Imagine if she's got her own key and just lets herself in. Uh oh. Well, I'm, I'm okay. That's two separate <laughs> pieces of nonsense. Not even. I'm not even putting having a key into the equation. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I'll, okay, I'll give you this. I'll give you the emergency key. Hey, you know, we want to make sure yeah. that you have a key just in case yeah, if something happens. But yeah. but you never use it hey. unless you, there's something wrong. It's not that I come home from, from wherever I'm at and, <laughs> and your mother is standing in the house. Nope. <laughs> Running her finger along the um, the dashboard of, in the kitchen or to say, oh, this ain't clean, you know, because that just rolls neatly into number two. You don't need a cleaner because she turns up however many times a week to take his laundry home to wash and press. Not yours, though. Oh, no, no, not yours. Never who, yours. who in their natural mind would have <laughs> their mother... <laughs> As an adult, and, and out of the house now, if you're married, I'm even. Uh-huh. We're, I'm not even kept touching anything else. You know, young uh-huh. people in college and things like that, okay, the, the family still <laughs> helps. So you come home, you bring your dirty clothes, okay, cool. Uh-huh. But a married man should not have his mother washing his clothes. Over yeah, said okay. but Listen, some people say, okay, that's why he got a wife, okay? Because he wanted her to take over that. <laughs> But anyway, putting that aside, putting that aside, because obviously we know not all men are useless like that. Listen, I have had guys, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, yeah, you are expecting me to be your mother. You don't want to say it subconsciously, you may not even realize it, but the behaviors that you are exhibiting are letting me know, because I'm the one on looking in on this. I'm like, okay, now, if he can't cook, girls, ladies out there, it, all these things you need to look, if he can't cook, be worried if he can't wash his own clothes even worse if he can't um operate a washing machine or i had a guy who couldn't he couldn't he didn't even know how to use a microwave <laughs> I had to tell him. no i ain't joking seriously Carol, he had he didn't know to, and i was like you for real he had some food that somebody had given him and he was saying to me now you need to help me and i said and i'm thinking oh this is a big conundrum that he's got because i didn't know what it was and then he whipped his food out and he says i want to eat this but i don't know how to heat it up <laughs> and i looked at him and I thought, okay, because he didn't have the microwave. So I'm thinking, well, just put it in the oven. I said, and because of what it was, it was sort of like a saucy thing. I said, so you need to watch it. Haven't you got anything that's oven proof? I was telling him all these things. And then I suddenly realized I'm having to tell you like the things that even common sense, even a little five year old would know. You know, okay. he, did you tell him to first just go outside and get some, first of all, we've got to go create a fire. And first, no, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> He probably would have blown everyone up. And you know what? I, I must say this. But what I was telling him, everything I told him, I made sure that he did not start it while I was still in the house. I told him, don't do nothing till I leave. Everything I've told you, you need to do it. But wait till I slam the door. Because I don't, just in case he messes it up. Because I'm not staying there to do it for him. Because what will happen is he wants you to do it. If Because the, you'll just get so fed up with having to tell him every single direction that he wants you to do it. So I just thought, no, no. And I was backing away. <laughs> I was backing out of the room. And I think, here, you do this, you do that. Make sure you look at it. Make sure you prod it with a fork because, obviously, it, it, you need it to cook evenly, right? And you know he's such a gannet, right? And I told him, make sure you check the middle. Don't just check the outside, which you think, oh, it's hot. I can eat it. And you know what he did? Because he's so craven, right? He took it out and he ate it. And then later on, he told me he'd been sick. And I said, because you did not check that it was all cooked, isn't it? And you know he's so disgusting. He still ate it even when he reached the cold bit. That's what made him sick. And I said, serve your right because you should have listened to me. Okay. Who in their right mind eats cold food when you know that it's supposed to be hot and you've been spending all that time? He didn't leave it in long enough to, to warm up. Is, and he was is so this someone greedy. you dated? <sighs> did you date this person? <sighs> Yes, I have I learned know. so much about ask the about Avani today, people. You just don't even know. I need to just know. Okay, <laughs> I was I was looking at him. I said, you know what? Serve you right. Serve you right. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Serve you right. Because no, I told you. See, but when I t- the fact that I had to tell you is bad enough. But when I told you and you still didn't listen, whatever happens to you, so if you right. Because you asked me, and in the end, I got so annoyed with him. I said, "Listen, don't ever ask me nothing again. Get yourself a microwave." And you had to tell him. somebody to get a microwave. Him. I had to tell him because he drove me nuts. I'm thinking, if you don't even know how to warm up food in an oven, Jesus Christ! And even when he got the microwave, he was still looking at me. How would you do it? What'd you do? I said, "You take it out of the box and plug it in the wall." Man, your patience <laughs> is way beyond <laughs> mine. Look, I'm gonna just—I'll just, I'll just tell you the truth. After that, I just said, listen, don't ask me no questions. Because 
anything, I said to him, listen, I would never have left him in my house on his own. You crazy, because I'll come back and find half the block blown off. No, no, no. I said to him, whatever you're doing, wait till I leave. <laughs> because when you blow up yourself, that's you, it's on you. Because <laughs> I'm not dying with you because you're too stupid to know how to do something. No, no, bye-bye. Well, I mean, and that... It... One thing you did say to that to me, I think that everyone, male or female, they need to learn how to take care of themselves. When I when I was in even high school, they had back in my day, when many moons ago, they had a class called home economics for some right. people. I didn't actually, I didn't take it. I had other activities, but they had home economics and home ec. It was men and boys and girls, men and women in home ec, and you learn to take care of yourself. As a man, you should know how to Come on now. prepare your basement. food and, and just the base, make some eggs yeah. or whatever. No, no, no. He know. couldn't even do that. The, 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 everything, he couldn't even boil water. It's, I'm like, you know what? I, I can't. I, I don't know. Because he was expecting me to do it. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> you ain't no, I don't need, like I said already earlier, you can do battle by yourself now. Hello? <laughs> you don't need that one for the artist. You know what? Let me just keep it moving because I don't want to know about your foolishness. I could, I could not believe what I was seeing, and I had to tell him step by step. Do this. Make sure you don't do that. Do this. Check it. Make sure you check the middle. I told him that because I had a feeling that he's so cravenite, he was just gonna want to eat is it. Cravenite. Um, just Easy. as an aside, I'm not what Easy. Is... Need oh craving like you're craving, but yes. it's cravenite. Yeah, that's my little word for it. Wow, man, I'm writing this one down. Because <laughs> I could have just said craven as in greedy. That is a definite Avani ism, cravenite. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh-uh. this oh my days. I just thought, you know what? Let me just not even bother with him because he's just so greedy. I was just like, okay, you need to just keep it moving. But I have digressed off the article, people. Now I should just keep going back through. Number three, the mother or mother-in-law thinks she knows everything, okay, about, you know, your relationship, i.e. with the with her son, which is always bad because you know you're going to fight. Because <laughs> she's going to be telling you, oh, he didn't tell you this. Oh, he didn't tell you that. Oh. And you're going to think, oh, God. Number four, she always talks about his ex-girlfriends. Now, see, that's just disrespectful. Deal breaker, too. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Why would you keep trying to do it? People, I don't know what you think, but I ain't loving that. Mm-hmm. Oh, number five. Okay, you can't slag her off even as a joke. Now, <laughs> for when it gets to that point, you know this relationship ain't probably going to last too much longer. If you feel the need to really get down and dirty about his mother like that, it's going to be a problem, isn't it? Well, you shouldn't be in the relationship at that point. If you're feeling that way, you need to excuse yourself from the relationship. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Well, I figured, okay, because uh, it says, despite the digs and jives, under no circumstances are you able to bitch about the mother of a mummy's boy to the mummy's boy in question, basically, because as far as he's concerned, she means well, and you find the negative in everything, and you're just going to be like, oh, okay, I need to keep it moving because we ain't never going to agree on this. <laughs> Number six, he thinks she knows everything. You know what? He should stay home with her. Oh, if he thinks mom knows everything? Yeah, yeah. He needs to just go home then, isn't it? Because that's, that's all it is. It's a wrap, isn't it? Seven, he calls her mummy on the phone when he thinks no one is listening. <laughs> and see, but now, does he mean like, because I call my mom, mom, yeah. but I don't, I don't no, call her mummy. He, he's probably calling her mummy in a little boy's voice and that, isn't it? That's probably what they mean. No, like, he reverts. That's sick. <laughs> you know, he refers to being a little kid. Oh, mummy. That's you know, sick. And, 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 okay. See, I, I, I wouldn't be upset if, if a guy talked to his mum every day because I don't think. But then again, hold on. It says, hold on. It says, uh, about stuff. So where regular boyfriends call their mums when something relevant needs to be discussed, a mummy's boy is on the blower every evening catching up and checking in. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a problem. Isn't it? Not that's every a, evening. You know. No, this one, he says every evening. They talk every day. Well, but that's what I mean. To me, you know, you talk to your mom every, you know, every yeah, week I, I, or so or just, day. you know, to check in just depending on schedules, especially if they're older. You know, check in on them every week, making that's sure not- everything is okay. But every night, hi, mommy. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, Not bad. happening. 
Yeah, like who's got? Listen, you got you got your own family to be to be dealing with, and unless she's ill, and you want to make sure that she's taking the medication, and you don't want to get her into, you know, you want to just quickly say, "Mom, I'm just checking that you're okay. You have right. you know, blah blah." That's a quick question, you know, quick call. But it, the way.